So I carry on with the unitary method and I'm moving to assignment number five where I'm taking just one of the many questions that we have done. So I'm taking question number one. The cost of three-fifths of ghee is rupees 96. Find the cost of one kg and the second part says find the cost of five-eighths of a kg. So taking number one. When I take number one, I've divided them into two columns, that is the weight of G and the cost. The weight is in kg and the cost in terms of rupees. From the question, three-fifths of the G is 96. So three-fifths is 96. I'm supposed to find the cost of one kg. So one kg will be x. Now to use the arrow. An improper fraction is always less than one which automatically means that one is more. So the arrowhead moves towards more. Looking at the other side, since one is more, the cost of the G, which is X for one, will also be more. So the arrowhead moves towards more. Now using these arrows, arrowhead upon the arrow tail, arrowhead, upon the arrow tail from the first column will be equal to arrowhead which is x divided by the arrow tail which is 96 now therefore I can write this 1 divided by 3 by 5 I can write it like this is equal to x upon 96 in the next line I do the reciprocal 1 multiplied by 5 by 3 now I bring this 96 from here, it is on the right hand side and it is dividing, it moves to the left hand side, it will multiply, so multiplied by 96 will be equal to x, 3 will go 32 times, that means 5 into 32 is 160, so this is 160 is equal to x or I can write the same thing down as x is equal to 160. Moving on to the second part of the sum, where we have to find out the cost of 5 8 kg of a ghee. We've already found out from the first part, we found out that 1 kg of ghee was costing us 160 rupees. Therefore, when I write down 1 kg is costing us 160 rupees, now I have to find out 5 8 of how much it's going to cost us. Put the, put the arrowhead. 1 is more because this is an improper fraction. So arrowhead moves towards 1. For the cost of less will also be less. Which means the arrowhead over here will be on top. Now using the arrows, I get arrowhead upon the arrow tail is equal to arrowhead upon the arrow tail. Arrowhead upon the arrow tail is equal to arrowhead upon the arrow tail. So here we can use cross multiplication. So 1 multiplied by x will give me x and 160 multiplied by 5 by 8. So 8 will go 20 times. That means x will be equal to 20 multiplied by 5 that is 100. So in other words, we can say that the cost of 5 8 kg of ghee is going to cost us x and x is equal to 100 so we can say the cost of 5 8 kg of ghee is actually 100 rupees.